So um, today's topic is BiPAP settings. So there's always a lot of controversy around um, <laughs> what they should be. Uh, on the BiPAP, you have two pressures. You have the IPAP, which is the in-breath, and then you have the EPAP, which is the exhale. Um, we generally try to use a span of 10 between the two numbers. So the lowest we would ever recommend would be 14 over four. Um, this is to make it easier for them to breathe because if you've got the two, the two, the breath in and the breath out too close together, it can be really difficult to then exhale and inhale correctly. Um, but it's not really followed in the UK at all. There was a study done in 2010 into high span BiPAP pressures, so that would be sort of 18 and up over four being the lowest for the EPAP. With SMA, they um, because their muscles don't expand correctly, their chest can become quite deformed and it can like obtain like a bell shape, so their chest would go in and then obviously with their tummy, it comes out, hence it being called a bell-shaped chest. Now, it was proven that higher IPAP settings, so that's the breath in, which inflates your lungs, is um, should be relatively high 18 or above to allow um for good chest expansion also cough assist um will do this also uh, to help prevent any chest deformities now Vinny is on 20 over 5 and always has been and i've always been really reluctant to go down any lower because of this reasoning and he does actually have a relatively good shaped chest it's slightly bowed because he is a weaker type one but nowhere near to um, the extent that it probably would be if he had lower pressures um, his chest has no deformities so we are really really fortunate um, I only know one hospital in the UK that follow this like high span pressures um, some of the bigger hospitals do really crap pressures and uh, it's literally some some of the pressures that these children are on it's actually pointless as to why they're on them they do uh, regular sleep studies to check on pressures but you can actually do two big ranges on pressures and still get a relatively similar result on the sleep study so it's not just about one element it's not just about the blood gases or the carbon dioxide it's so many different um clinical picture it's like a full clinical picture if you're going to get good chest expansion so yeah bipap pressures protocols